Hello there, welcome. So good to be back. Bamboo Sket, let's create the pattern. Before we continue, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified once we drop a new video. I remain with Lua like I'm your tutor on this channel. Let's get right into it. What you, what we are working on today is, this is um, the image right there. Then what you require is listed right there. Let's get started with our 16 style lines. Starting from the waist, a little below the waist. As you can see, I turn the image upside down so you understand what I'm doing from there. We have an opening at the base of the skirt, so we will start at the upper part of the skirt. So drawing the lines, the first one went from below the waist to the side of the hip. The next one came from between that to the other side. That sequence, left, right, left, right, left, right, all the way till you get to the last one. Ensure that the last two eat the edges of the skirt. Once that is done, label them. All labeled, now let's cut from the very first one, the one closest to the waist of the skirt. Cut it open, but don't cut you. But eventually, you accidentally pull it apart, stick it back together. That's why we're working on pattern paper. So, take the paper, take the piece of paper to one leg of the opening, draw out a triangle, close it up, cut out the triangle from the rest of the pattern paper you fixed there, then tape in the second leg. Then we'll highlight the joining, the meeting point of the two pattern papers. Please ensure you reinforce the edge to, in, to um, avoid it falling apart, then you fold in place. Whatever excess you have spilling outside of the pattern block, cut it off. We don't need it. Line one done. Now to line two. Follow that process. The process is such that the next one, to assess the next one, you go through the preceding one. Like that. It's more like a build up. To get to two, you have to go through one. To get to three, you have to go through two. Automatically, you have to go through one to two, to three, then to four. That way. Infuse the, cut out the triangle, infuse it into the gap. You might want to ask, is there no particular measurement for the triangle we're infusing into the gap? You can decide to work with, with um, a particular measurement, but because we're working on a kind of large apparel, a skirt at that, I'm just working based on a gauge. You can do three centimeter, no, um, three inches, five inches, there about. But note that the wider the triangle, the more fabric you would require to be able to achieve the final output. That said, let's continue. The process is the same. Cut through the previous one into the next one. Fixing the triangle. Fixing one leg of the pattern paper rather. Draw out the other leg of the triangle. Cut off the excess. Tape in the second leg. I like the joining. Yeah, second leg taped. Label it. Draw the the side the um, the line would um, will fold towards and fold. Cut off the excess, and we're ready to go to the next. That's what the back view looks like. Now let's go to four. Going through three to four. I must also say that there are various ways to achieve this particular design. This is one out of a lot of ways. Okay, like I said initially, if it falls apart, that's what just happened there. Just to be back together. That's why we're working on butter paper and not fabric. You can tip it back together and continue like nothing wrong happened because really, it's not wrong for it to fall apart. 
So as I was saying, there are a lot of ways to achieve this particular design, but I'm following the bamboo method of achieving it. You can see the process is the center. You get to the last one. You can. I must say that you can um, use this particular procedure, this technique, on any part of garment construction: bodies, sleeves, trousers, skirts, a dress, whatever it is you want to create. You can use this. In fact, I have a video I posted a little while ago regarding the bodies how to create the bodies i will drop the link to it in the description box Also, by the time you are conversant with this old technique, you can decide to play around with it. As such, you can decide to not space the style lines evenly apart. And you can decide to make the gaps scattered sort of. Feel free to play around with it and see the fun in the whole process because really, it's so much fun. Guess you understand the process now we'll estimate it up because this whole thing goes like that and we'll get the very last one but because it has an opening at the end let's go to two star lines before the end so assessing the second to the last star line Cut through that to assess it, open it up, fix the triangle, tape it in place. And take the other leg also. I like the meeting point of the two papers label it showing indicating where it should go then fold in place cut off the excess and we are good so the lower part because that part that point is an opening we're just trimming it off although i'm not trimming it entirely away because i would be recreating a full skirt later so now let's put it all together. Let's see if it's still looking like the pattern we actually want to derive. I think it's looking like it. Yeah, there it is. You can see the pattern right there beside it, the dead hole design rather. So there it is, the creating um creation of a pattern all completed. The next video would contain conversion into fabric. I've decided to do it in three different variations listed right there. So please, every question, observation, question, drop it in the question in the comment section. I will attend to them in the shortest possible time. Till the next video, which will be dropping in a few days. Bye for now. Thank you for your time.